Hello, I'm David Hester, and this is the Bible Health 101 show. This is show part two. All right, and I'm going to be talking right now about the benefits of calcium. I'm, I'm following up on the, uh, the, the first part of the video that I've done today. I do not generally make two videos in one day, but today I'm going to just to get through this information so we can start fresh uh, on a new topic tomorrow. Now, there's different types of calcium supplements, okay? Uh, and there's, there's a lot of confusion about uh, the best type of uh, calcium supplement. And um, because, we, you know, there's all those, uh, all the information out there about calcium carbonate or uh, coral calcium and... Um, you know, and I mean, there's there's all these different kinds. Uh, there's calcium uh, uh, citrate and calcium ascorbate, and you know all these things I can't even pronounce. But um, the the fact of the matter is that calcium carbonate is the most inexpensive form of calcium. Okay but it's poorly absor absorbed uh, in our body. So, uh, it, you know, it, it takes all this stomach acid to, you know, to break it down. And, uh, you know, it just, that's why they uh, they add uh, things like Tums and Rolaids, or at least the active ingredients uh, of antacids into their calcium supplement. Uh, so calcium carbonate... I don't recommend supplements uh, that contain calcium carbonate because you're paying for something that your body's not even going to be able to to use. Now, calcium ascorbate, uh, calcium citrate, uh, in calcium phosphate, uh, those those are three types of of high quality calcium, and uh, they are easily absorbed in our bodies. Okay, so uh, it's it's these are. Uh, are far superior to uh, to calcium carbonate. Now, how much calcium is enough? Okay. Um, well, think about it. Uh, things uh, vary uh, as as this does with age and gender. So, um, based on the most recent studies that I have, we're supposed to take. Uh, if we're women, we're supposed to take a thousand to uh, 1,200 milligrams a day, okay? Uh, men um, should take uh, at least 1,000 milligrams a day. Now, if you are a postmenopausal woman um, or you're elderly, then you should take uh, 1,200 to 1,600 milligrams a day of, of calcium. Now, uh, it's, it's really important that uh, if you're taking calcium supplements that you, you take the supplements that also have vitamin D or if they don't also have vitamin D then then uh, get a separate vitamin D uh, supplement and this will help to uh, ensure the proper absorption of the calcium okay now are there side effects well um, according to all of the uh, clinical studies there have been uh, no side effects uh, from calcium, okay? And uh, they they did um, they they, uh, they did studies on doses up to 2,500 milligrams a day, okay? Now some people will experience bloating uh, or constipation when they begin taking calcium supplements, and uh, you know if if that occurs for you, just just uh, reduce the dose. Uh, to uh, to a level that will avoid the you know those problems and then just slowly increase it to the recommended levels uh, as your body adapts to it okay now um, there are studies out there that say that calcium uh, increases the risk of uh, kidney stones uh, but the uh, more recent, uh, the better controlled studies uh, show that uh, calcium reduced the risk of kidney stones. So, uh, 
you know, if if you have a uh, a family history of kidney stones or or uh, high levels of uric acid in your blood, uh, then you know it's going to be my recommendation always to uh, to check with your doctor uh, before taking a calcium supplement. Okay, um, and you know, as for uh, the calcium, the benefits of calcium, I think I. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm finished here. If you, if you need more information, uh, just like I said, email me at David Hester at BibleHealth101.com and I will send you further information on this topic. Uh, as you will notice, if you look to the top of the website, this is off subject, but you'll notice that I have changed the name of our program from the I'm Alive Again Holistic Health Show to the Bible Health 101 Show. Okay, and that's just to avoid confusion uh, between um, my program and another uh, program and, and website on the internet. Uh, it's just to keep from um, you know the flack that you've noticed at the bottom of uh, of these postings um, for the last couple of days. So, anyways, the show is now called the Bible Health 101 Show. Get it out there. Share it with your friends so that we can uh, together uh, promote health, okay, in our neighborhoods and around the world. The Lord bless you guys and shalom.